got some gate hinges here which I need to modify them slightly. They've come in. I really want this angle to be 90 degrees. I'm sure that's how they're meant to be. Um, I've managed to sort of couple out, get them a bit better. The idea being that you know, you've got one fits on the post, hinge post, and the one on top with a pin through the pair of them. fits on the frame of the the gate but yeah they come in not really formed in the right shape the shorter versions of these things and even this one old stock yeah this angle is not right it's supposed to be 90 degrees and it just plain isn't so that yeah. So I've I've put a weld in here to hold these together so that I can do something with this angle. See, that's just rubbish. <laughs> um, you you could weld that on there, and I suppose it gives you a bit of scope to adjust it in this direction you know from there to there oh, that's not really good though is it it's meant to be 90 degrees so these are nearly there and um, the other two that I've still got to do I'm just going to clean out in here a little bit where I've got couple of lumpy bits on the weld and then we'll take them over the fly press and try and knock them into shape. Much, much better. That's about okay, actually. That's pretty good. Got the camera mounted on the bench, so it's getting a bit of bit of a wobble coming through.
That's close. That's pretty close. Just a little bit more. Do one down on the on the block off of the V. I think we can get away with this. Let's pull that through from that side. You can see. Got a bit of scope to flatten the bottom, so we'll do that. Actually, I don't think the press is going to come down that far. Yes, we will. Ah, oh, pop the weld. Damn. Oh well, we'll have to have another go at that. Actually, that ends okay. So what I'll have to try and do is clamp that together, weld that back together and hope it holds. I'll just float that back together with a TIG torch and uh, let's see if that's uh, strong enough now to hold these together because we've still got a bit of reshaping to do here. So let's give this another go. a bit more. I think I might try this without the rod, just go straight on the top of these edges. Anything we've opened that out too much now. Ha! Well, actually, the corner of the tube was bottoming in the on the weld in here, so I've just run a, an angle grinder in the corner, and that is now pretty damn good. We'll just check that the uh, the pin goes through still, because these things are not very round anyway. But yeah, that's fine. There was a bit of a faffing around, something that shouldn't really need to be done. But yep, a few minutes with a fly press sorted.